And we are absolutely back, and we are here in the present and accounted for. Adventures of the Black Nerds, AOBN. I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones with the intro, dog. I know. Hey, I really, in my head, I try to come up with like these magical intros, <laughs> and they really just spur out of nowhere. And I wish you guys could see like us five seconds before you hear that because it really is out of nowhere. Yep. And I love doing it because you go from chaos it, to straight other. Yeah, they're straight like, oh, hey, guys, and welcome. And welcome thank God man. I'm not doing like my, my uh, I'm trying to get my money back voice. Um, Yes, excuse me. Hi. Um, I'm doing just how, how recent have you had to do that? The most recent time I've had to do that was, um, I want to say they messed up on like my water bill. Mm. And all of a sudden, my like payments weren't coming out. And they were trying to charge me for it. And I was like, oh, no, excuse me. If you go and look at my history, you can absolutely see that my payments have been coming out on time for the past five years. <laughs> so why all of a sudden would today be the day that yeah. I'm needing a late payment? Can yeah, you my- please explain it to me? <laughs> Maybe it's your system and it's not me. My su- No, see, my, my security system, they hit me with a double charge and oh. then sent me a bill saying that I was behind on payments. Uh-huh. Bro, I must have hit them with the... Hi, um, so I was looking at my, um, I checked my mail today and I, I hit it with the full on voice yeah. and everything. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, and you know what? To all gamers out there who haven't, to everybody out there who's listening who hasn't had to reach over the aisle and uh, put on their, I'm trying to get this thing free for the month voice. <laughs> You need to practice it. Everybody mm-hmm. should have it. And now, to be honest, most minorities and most black people have it. It's called code switching. We <laughs> grew up with it. Um, and it. And as a black person, I can say my code switching is so deep mm-hmm. that it could depend on what state I'm in, <laughs> what, what family members I'm with, whether <laughs> my mom is there, whether I'm with my dad, or it's just me and my brother. Like, it just... You, yeah, you that that code switching is so real, mm-hmm. and it, it's absolutely necessary. Especially, I I grew up knowing it to be necessary because of simply how I look, and I mean it's just a fact I've had to deal with. Yeah, not trying to boo hoo woe is me. It really is just something I had to deal with. Yeah, I automatically have to relax people because I'm a very large, crazy haired African American guy. <laughs> And um, it uh, it kind of rubs people a little different, and then they hear me talk, and it's like, oh, yeah, they instantly I, the relax. Time. They instantly the relax. It, it is the funniest. I don't. I wish I had a quarter for, and I say a quarter because all that penny shit, pennies is important, but I want quarters. Mm. Uh, I wish I had a quarter for every time that happened. Like you can just see people's guards just oh, like, oh, I'm like, yeah. So da 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 da. How's it going? More you know, and they're. Yeah, they immediately do it. And it's funny because it's not me being fake. That's not what it is. It's simply understanding that my vernacular has to adjust to my certain situation if I want to get better results. Content don't change. Yeah. I'm still me. Still gonna I'm going to still have you laughing. Exactly. But it just that's just what it is. So pro tip to the people out there, if you want to get a little further, put on your voice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think they did a whole movie about it. I didn't yeah, even watch with the it dude from, uh, from from Atlanta. Atlanta. They did a whole movie about it, yeah. and that stuff is real. Ooh, speaking of random movies, and this is off topic, and then we're gonna get on topic. You gotta watch uh, Blind Spotting. I don't know if you've seen it. I watched it on the plane. Blind Spotting is one of the best movies that I wish I would have watched in theaters. Blind Spotting. Blind Spotting. Oh, okay, yeah. This just the came movie, out, didn't it? Yeah, I think it came out like. Oh, it Six, came out last months, year. Though. Yeah, it came yeah. out July. The movie was epic, and it touched on a lot, and is really deep in a good way. It's not melodramatic deep. It's entertaining, like funny, intense, deep. Um, and I don't want to spoil any of it, and I want everybody within my ear range or within hearing range to uh, go see Blind Spotting. But okay, getting on topic. I'm, about to I'm gonna watch start that. it off. Yeah, check it out, bro, for real. Um, I accidentally beat Le- The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. His last game since. Uh, no, I beat another game. 
Um, what did I beat since uh, talking to you? Um, I beat something else. Don't put that on me, Ricky <laughs> Bobby. Now I can't think about what it is, but I beat something else. I know I did. Uh, well, besides the point, That's I didn't mean to. So, so I was just gathering resources, trying to build some dope uh, ancient weapons. And what ended up happening was I made it to the top of Hyrule Castle. And I didn't realize that it was a big glowing orb. And when I did realize what it was, I was like, oh, crap, let me save. I'm about to get my butt kicked. Yeah. Because I only unlocked one of the bosses. Uh, one of the, uh, I forgot, I think they're called the deities or divine. The divine beast. There you go. They're called the divine beast. Only unlocked one divine beast. One. Uh, There's now, four up to, of them. Up to that point, how long have you been playing? How long have you been playing? Oh, I've been playing the hell out of it. You know me, man. I like to farm. Fish. He liked the fish. Oh, I was fishing, hunting. I found this hunting spot that was allowing me to farm for a bunch of rupees or money. And I was just hunting like crazy out there riding my horse, slow shooting, farming for arrows, farming for different meat, cooking, selling it, buying gear, buying more loot, going across quit, the line of all the arrows. <laughs> Bro, I was legit farming like crazy. So even my gear wasn't maxed out. And I don't even have the Hyrule uh, shield. I got the Master Sword, which I barely got. So I didn't think I was going to stand a chance. Well, I beat the hell out of Ganon. Mm. I whooped his ass. Then I ended up getting this thing called the uh, the Bow of Light or something. Zelda blessed Link with the Bow of Light. And it was just maxed out level 100 damage. With, like, light energy, I was just shooting Jedi powers at, at Ganon. And I won. <laughs> and then I felt so empty and, and sad. That's why you don't beat video games. Is, we just talked I about that last right week. Right before that point, and now, I, as soon as I, like, jump back in, it put a star next to my save, because clearly it knows I beat the game. <laughs> so I just, like, went back and it explored. And I went back to hunting and farming. And now, now, like when I get killed by other bosses or other creatures, I get so mad because it's like I killed your leader. <laughs> your Who are you to dead. think you can kill me? <laughs> like I, I destroyed your leader in one try without even watching a video, without being prepped, without any of that. I whooped Gan. I wish I recorded it. Mm -hmm. I whooped Ganon's ass, bro. Like I'm the Hyrule man. Sword was glowing like a lightsaber from the heat I was hitting him with. So you beat. Well, you beat two games last year and one game this year so far. I feel like you're disrespecting me a little I bit. I low-key um, am trying to, but I'm trying to shout you out at the same time. Like, no, um, the, the level of disrespect, <laughs> I, I, I'm feeling it. No, um, but for you to... But for you to... I, I don't know. There's, a, there's something about you in, in hunting and fishing and video games. It Bro, makes me it's upset. The best thing ever. It's so much else going on in the game, and you want to hunt fish and do all this other. Bro, at least I'm not like a borderline serial killer living out in a video game. I don't know. Like, there you, was this you... weird story I saw uh -huh. where this this girl was trying to figure out why her sister didn't get far in Skyrim, or this guy. It was some. It was somebody's sister, and um, I don't know the original post like to a T. But long story short. The guy was the the girl was only ranked like level eight, but she had maxed out sneaking and oh. like maxed out, and she was tracking where the characters were going so she can go in a, and assassinate them. And she had a journal outside the game that she kept track of where each character was at what time of the day in the game, so she could perfectly kill these people in dramatic ways. <laughs> the many face god dog. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, that's so funny. I'm not that bad. No, nah, but I did bad. okay, I will tell you what I did on Red Dead Redemption. Because I was just so proud of myself. I killed this bison, and I, if I talked about it before, I'm so sorry. I'm no, you haven't. Right you now. haven't. Okay, so I killed this bison. Well, I was minding my business and I came across a herd of buffalo. There you go. And I killed two perfect buffalo pelts and found out. Oh, you can only carry one giant pelt on your horse at one time. And I didn't know about having two horses yet. So I walked my horse with me holding the pelt <laughs> from the Buffalo Territory all the way back to camp just because I was not going to leave my two perfect 
Buffalo Pelts. But that's not. There's nothing psychotic about that. I think we've all been in a situation where, we, yeah, real lifetime, probably like 10, 15 minutes, <laughs> bro. I think we've all done, so, especially if you play Fallout Three. Oh yeah. If you if you've hey I'm I'm not letting go none of this shit. I'm about to walk, getting chased. Yeah, are you be, running away I'll from danger? That. <laughs> or is it find a chest and leave it and hope the game doesn't glitch it out? Yeah. yeah. I don't I know think how many self- times I've left prominent ammo and like gear and trash cans. I'm a, I'm gonna take mailboxes. People who have who take notes outside of the video game. I, I mean, I take notes outside of the video game, but it's it's like on gear stats and yeah. builds. So like, I will literally like next time I get on here, I'll show you. I'll literally write down the type of build that I want for a character, and then the stats, the gear, especially for Destiny, obviously. I do this for, and I did it for Warframe too. I oh yeah, because you, like you had to have you had to have it preset. And ready yeah, and so thought about writing down all the the materials that I needed to farm, the materials not to use because I specifically needed mm-hmm. to get this specific build. I would do that all the time, but for people who do stuff like that, like <laughs> like uh, it, every every tenth on the clock, he he, bro, you know that's some psychotic. <laughs> Bro, I this man. NPC turns left down this road, and he is. Hey, <laughs> you know what's funny? I um, I don't know if this is for everybody, but I know for me, I literally have an archetype for every time I play a game for the first time. I'm like this roguish hunter, semi good character. Like that's my that's my thing. It, really, if there's a sniper rifle, I have it. If there's a long range weapon that's silent, I have it. I, for for me, it depends on the game. Because for like, even Battlefield, only game I don't use a sniper on, and it's because I'm absolutely Call of Duty. See, okay, so like, let's go back to Fallout Three. Fallout yeah. Three, I wanted to melee everything, <laughs> so I wanted shish kebabs, power fists. I was Ooh. trying to, I was trying to tear everything up. Every every death claws. Anybody was catching these hands. These then, hands ready to eat for everyone. And then in uh, let's use like another game like that. Like this in um, in Warframe, I wanted mm. to, I liked being the pure DPS. I, I like pure DPS, and I like heat, and I like having instant like heals because I'm that mm-hmm. close, or I'm doing that type of damage. So I never really rocked with snipers or anything like that. But in um, I think in Destiny, since that that's the game I play mostly now. In that mm-hmm. game, I I purely like in I like everything instant. So I like killing things fast, and I like having yes. super anytime I possibly can. So I'm running you. five super mods. I got like the helmet on that any type of void damage gives me a buff to like my regen my my special my ability regeneration, just shit like that. Like for example, I spent. I farmed, I think I had mentioned this already. I farmed this one gun. I wanted this one gun, the specific role. It was the Kindled Orchid. It's a void hand cannon, 140 round, uh, 140 RPM hand cannon. And the specific perks I wanted on there was Drop Mag, Surrounded, Rampage, right? Yeah. It took me over 50 times. Of Ooh. getting that same gun. I think we talked about it, but I don't think we talked about it on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I mentioned it to you, but it took me fifty over fifty runs to get that specific hand cannon. And the one reason, it's only one reason I wanted to damn. I have to force myself to use it now. But, but the only. But now you got it. Now I got it. The only reason why I wanted to use it is because I wanted to use the specific warlock helmet, and. Uh, the, the helmet, basically, anytime you get void damage, like I was just saying, it gives you a buff to your abilities. Well, gotcha. there's a there's a super on the Warlock uh, called the Nova Bomb. Not the Nova Warp, the Nova Bomb. And then they also, it's a Bloom class. So it's called like the Attunement of Detonation. Whenever I kill somebody with a void energy, they'll explode. Anybody next to them will explode. My Nova Bomb now, whenever it shatters, it shatters into smaller... Little bombs that goes out and seeks targets and blows them up. So you okay. imagine having my super every minute or so because I had this one hand cannon. I still haven't even broke the damn 
like found the perfect uh heavy for it things like that so now i'm lurking on finding the heavy before i can even test the class out so gotcha i got a whole section in my book written down just for this one just thing. the notes yeah Oh, so hey, like, no, bro. that's how Depic, that's how in Depic get outside of the game. Like really writing down classes and stuff that I want to do. And got to keep a bro. notebook on deck. And if not, I got like a note. I got a gang of notes on my desktop screen. <laughs> I got stickies. See, I'm the same way. Same thing here. I I used to um, when I was heavy into uh, Monster Hunter, I would be sitting there with different builds, helmets. Same thing with you were problem with destiny mm -hmm. i'm like oh if i run this and run this gym oh i just got that gym i could do this i can run this build and add these gyms and take away that whole armor set by just replacing it with this chest piece yeah and oh my god bro i'd be sitting there practicing i'm like oh do i want max dps or do i want par paralysis do i want confuse do i want to put the monster to sleep like blah 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 so. bro i i'm knowing that life man like <laughs> damn it's fro getting in the way um I know the life, bro, and the notebook is is life, and it comes in clutch, especially with games where you have multiple builds. But when you're out there just trying to be a serial killer and live it out through your game, yeah, you, <laughs> you got, got hit lists out different. there. Yeah, you got a hit list for characters. That that's that's a whole different animal in itself. Mm -hmm. And speaking on killing people, I feel like this is a our, our first good transition of. Uh, I don't know if it was good because I don't know where you were going. <laughs> Oh, my bad. I was going to talk about Fortnite and the dudes over in the Middle East complaining. Oh, okay. Yeah, about him being killed. Okay. Ooh, you see, yeah. I'm like, where's he going? Yeah, I was like, he was like, wait, wait, wait. He was like, oh, he's going rogue. <laughs> <laughs> we should have like an error button, like when somebody just goes rogue. Yeah, some type of alarm. <laughs> yeah, you got to pull it back. Pull it back. Uh, but, okay. Okay. So, long, long story short. You got a um you got a Middle Eastern Fortnite player. Um I believe his name is Devil Station. That's what it looks like. Yeah, that's what um, it looks like it reads, uh huh. Um he's a beast, he's a monster, he's pro. But the problem is he's not winning as many matches whenever he comes across somebody who's closer to the server, which would be I don't know where the Fortnite servers are. are they, they have US? but they have different like yeah, you can go like uh the European servers, yeah, NA servers. Basically. So basically, he's he's looking for dedicated private servers. Yeah. Um. More more specifically for the Middle East, because mm -hmm. he can't compete. Now we all know when it comes down first internet. That's always the biggest thing. But then next is your your hardware, your uh your screens, what type of refresh rates you're rocking, what type of HDMI ports you're rocking, are you hardlined, are you Wi-Fi, your ping, all of that comes into play. Because first and foremost, if somebody sees you before you see them, you're dead, especially in a shooter. So I can completely see where his complaint's coming from. Mm -hmm. um, and why not? It's the day and age of a hashtag, and maybe the hashtag can bring about the change you're looking for. It'll, um, it'll spark something. I think it'll spark something because it's it's clearly needed. Dedicated when you got a pro telling you like, "Hey, I'm losing not because I'm trash, mm -hmm. but because the server can, my distance from the nearest server is further than the people there." <laughs> See, with that, um, with yeah, that, especially with him being in the middle, middle, in the middle of the Middle East, it's kind of that's kind of. Um, I, I, you can give and take. I know. I know. I had just said pro, before we started the podcast, like uh, people will just never be satisfied. Sure. But I, but when you look at like how dedicated servers are set up, and what type of games have dedicated servers, it's games that have been around, you sure. know, for a long that time, and they have it and yeah. they put it in there. I think the cheaper route these days is not having dedicated servers. You. Mm -hmm. You want to play against somebody? Go into this this server that they're at, and a lot of games didn't do that. The first game that I ever dealt that had multiple servers that you got to choose what servers you wanted to go to and play was SOCOM, and they had like US West mm -hmm. one through like twelve, and then they had like US East one through like twelve, and then they had like UK or EU one through like this or mm -hmm. Asia. Northern Asia or stuff like that, Southern Asia. Mm -hmm. So these 
they that's how they broke it up. Um, For me, it was Battlefield, and Battlefield did have too. that. But the thing, mm-hmm. the funny part about it is, <clears throat> we would go to other other servers because we got tired of scraping everybody else. Either mm-hmm. that, or we just was messing around in other servers, meeting new people, stuff like that, because that was a thing. Today's day and age, I'm not sure what the competition is like in the Middle East. I'm not sure if he's even playing in the Middle East servers. I can only imagine that it, maybe there's not a lot of people playing in those servers. So he has to play other servers. <clears throat> this is where the gripe comes from. And then he's he's in other servers, not nowhere close to him. That could be an issue as well if he's playing in these servers. So we don't know. We don't 100% know. Yeah, I don't know any of the specifics. Yeah. So I, um. I, I think... um. I think Fortnite. It has a. It, it, they're saying that Fortnite has a lack of Middle Eastern servers. Okay, so okay, so now, now there's a lack of Middle Eastern servers. So where is he going to go and play? He has to go elsewhere. Whatever the next closest server, which I would hope is EU, and that's kind of you know far away from him as well, depending on where he is exactly. I don't know if Fortnite is. I don't know if they're going to do it right now. Okay. I don't know if I, I do. One thing you can say is that they are quick. Epic Games is actually real quick. And yeah. I almost almost compare them to Destiny. They're real quick with the with their community, with answering their community and giving the community what they want. Or taking and, stuff away from the community that the community wants to be taken away. And this is now this is my only my only gripe. Is knowing that you do have one of the biggest free to play games in the world that's cranking out some of the most profit. Why not? Shit. No, I no, still do don't know why the game is early course, access. <laughs> of course I don't know the technical background. You know, I'm not yeah. I don't know the aspect of setting up whatnot. Like I seen somebody mention access and a VPN and running it through that, you know, <laughs> bouncing off of somewhere else. I don't know. But one thing I do know is <coughs> Excuse Fortnite me. is a big enough game. Epic Games is a big enough company to address this issue. Yeah. And that, you know, I just wanted to bring it up because it was something that grabbed me. I was, no, I mean, it, I it, that's that, a, that was an issue I think that was going on. A lot of games, a lot of games are, are always complaining. A lot of communities, let me say that, um, not complain, but they 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 send out this war cry for dedicated service because that's the best route to go. Now sure. the thing is, as consumers, we don't think about what it's gonna take to make these. Uh, if they put the money behind it, how long will people stay? Type mm. deal because those are concerns we've seen. I, I mean, look at games that have gotten it and nobody plays them anymore. I'm talking sure. about from PC games, so. Yeah. You're, you you got to think about that, yo. We about to put this money behind this game. You know, that, I think once they do that, they gonna have to keep the content rolling. They gonna have to stay fresh. It can never fall. They gonna have to keep putting, the, you know, doing the whole competitive scene behind it because that you do not want to put all that money into it and not make a return from it. Hey, you, you know what? What do you think it would take for Fortnite to fall off? And I'm not looking forward to it falling off because I truly believe everything deserves its own. I, I think it's gonna take. I think it's just gonna be. A, it's gonna have to be a new wave, a new wave of something new. And I'm not ah, saying battle okay. royale. The the new okay. the new thing that comes up, whether it's a new version of Guitar Hero or something like that. That was a heavy wave. Remember that? Yeah. Remember that time mm-hmm. frame? Because I mean, my family even had rock band. Yeah, Locking even up. it's streamers that I watch. I watched the streamer beat a Destiny raid with the rock band Ooh. <laughs> drum set. Ooh. Bruh. I was like, <laughs> this is where we are now. We are that's how far we are off the spectrum where <laughs> these are the type of, of like challenges more. you know people are doing. But um I think it's just gonna be a new wave. I think Fortnite is so fast. Like it's so fast. Mm. Like Oh, I die. Start over again, dude. Start like, over no, again. So let me. So jumping on that with the whole starting up. Whenever I do play Fortnite, I find myself playing for a few hours because of that. Of how fast, fast the, it is. You know, I, I'll mess around and get in ten matches. 
because I'm trash at it. Mm-hmm. But also, it just the matches are that fast. You die, you just pop right and, back up. And and, it, and and it's truly it's a it's a very fast RPG game. When I say RPG, as in I mean RPG, as in what you find out in the fields. Okay, or well, I'm about to land tilted towers. You found the yellow crate. The damn yellow crate give you a yellow scar or a, yeah, gold scar. Oh, it's over. I got the gold scar. Whereas oh, you, you, okay. you know, you see what I'm saying. Like, so it's, it? it's real random. Mean? It's real yeah. random in what you find. Like I was watching a competitive match, and the only reason why this dude lost was because he couldn't find he couldn't find shields. And then the dude he was damn. fighting against, the dude he was fighting against, he hit him for like 200 health. <laughs> Like he hit him, the dude bandaged up. He hit him again, and the dude had he, he only had one gun. He just couldn't get in the right position. But he found two chests that gave him four. He gave him a slurp juice and gave him shields. So now he's back seventy seven health, and he needs. <laughs> and then he got full shields now. So it's like ah dang man, what am I supposed to so do? So you really rolled. The, so would you call it RPG or RNG? Uh I think no R- RNG not. I didn't mean RPG. I meant yeah, RNG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, yeah, RNG, RNG is I what I meant. Sure I want to clarify. We mean the RNG. Random for... number, not not role playing game, but the random yeah, number, random numbers number game. generator. That's what I meant. Sorry about that. So hey. RNG, because of that factor, like anybody, any given day, if you put five of the best players in there and they get two, and somebody really gets good, Thanos. Yeah, somebody gets Thanos, yeah. it's over, you know? Yeah. Like, you hey, see that, a f- hey, that that is such a trip about that game, how true that is, especially with Fortnite, because somebody will have a purple assault rifle, and you'll have a gray one. Mm-hmm. You're going to lose. Yeah. Like, if y'all just sat there and shot each other in the face, the dude with the purple going to win. Exactly. So yeah. I tell people all the time, it's like, you still have to have thumbs. Because we've yeah. seen the best of the best win with blues and greens and, and shit like smack. that. And, you know, we've seen them do it. Some people even make it a challenge to beat. Yeah, with, like I only want, only want blues. Yeah, I'm only going to beat this game only with blue guns and stuff like that. So, and some people are just that good. I think tying this back into uh, or attempting to tie it back into the whole dedicated service thing. I think that's something Fortnite will have to sit down and look at. I'm, it's going to be a lot of people sitting in the room, a lot, a lot of people crunching oh, yeah. numbers for it. I don't think it's going to be instant. I think it's it's a war cry that people going to have to stand behind. But if they don't mm-hmm. give a damn as long as they keep hitting 300, 400,000 viewers on Twitch, they don't care. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know what? It, it's a, like you said, bean counters. It, it's a numbers thing. Well, the, well, that region not having the best paying push them to fall. No. Yeah. No. And it sucks and it's sad. You know, that's actually something I've worried about with like been out of the country or moving to different places. <laughs> knowing I, I that a lot that, of the games I play are based I in the US. I, I make that joke so or many or times. EU. <laughs> I was And t- I'm like, damn, would my internet be trash? Would my like even I'll, if I moved out to the desert, like oh damn, dude, I gotta get a, a data cap. Yeah, like I was, like, I was telling like, my wife next the next place we move to before we even attempt to move, we need to find out what are the internet service optics. providers. They got a fiber optic. I don't care if it's Google or Files. Uh-huh. They gotta have one of them. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I even made the joke a while ago. You know, talking about like uh, moving out of out of the country, like oh, going back and moving or moving to Jamaica. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Mm, I don't know. They ain't got no internet out there, <laughs> bro. That's what. Nah, that's what I'm saying, man. Like I, I wanted to, I wanted to move back to where my family stay out on res. Uh huh. And I was like, wait a second, ain't no internet. <laughs> yeah, ain't no internet. Like out they, here. they out there, they out there shooting. You know, my cousin was like, oh, I hit my data cap. I was like, what? Excuse me. <laughs> You try to download Elder Scrolls online and you hit a yeah, data what? Hit the wall? So you said that like, you in 30 days you, you got another chance? 
And then she rocks PlayStation, so you know how many updates it take mm-hmm. and how long it take to download with PlayStation. That copying is bull. Bro. That copying is like, bull. <laughs> I was like, you might as well just go buy a game and take a day off and then come back to it. Like, yeah. damn. Yeah, nah. I'm not built. See, me, I'm still running off. I live in an older, older home, so I don't have fiber optics. Mm-hmm. But I still, on a good day, will get like 100 down, 50 up. Like on a good day, mm-hmm. so oh, <laughs> megabytes for those who don't know. Yeah, like download up. Hundred down what? I think yeah. people getting gigs now, man. People Bro. buying business lines. Hey. But I think that's an investment you gotta get into once you once you can live off of streaming or creating content. Oh yeah, that's that's, that's definitely like one of the first things you have to get. It's like better internet. Oh, yeah. So, I'm waiting for Elon Musk to give everybody free internet. Something. That's what I'm waiting on. Come on, man. I, I feel it. I feel that's going to happen. You know what? Because this is how it always starts with any any type of free program. It usually starts off in like public schools. Mm-hmm. So when you see kids having homework that requires internet, the next step is to give everybody free internet. Like, it's only the right thing to do. I mean, if you're going to require your public school kids to have access to tablets and internet, you got to provide the internet. Shit. You know? <laughs> my, uh, I think that's the next step when it comes to, like, my grandmother, free tech. My grandmother used to say, oh, oh, you got to go research. You got to go to the library. You better go get one of them encyclopedias. Encyclopedia. Oh, oh my dang. God, bro. What was up with families and encyclopedias? First off, having books was, from what I remember, was also, like, a sign of we doing all right. Yeah. Like, broke people ain't got just they books. Got books just sit there, a yeah, whole collection like that, of books. Yeah, that's that's not the case. It's funny uh, you so say that. I never thought of it like that. Yeah, that was. And we had like, like three it, different types of encyclopedias. Yeah, and there's always that whole. What's that reference? You can tell how rich you make. Like, there's that whole joke, that whole uh, little saying. And um, what what other way to be bougie than the in a funny house and see a bucket, bunch of dusty encyclopedias. <laughs> like, oh, look, we, we're learned people. <laughs> Everybody got but, a book um, in their hand. <laughs> bro, man. Uh, did I did I talk to you about my Audible? What's been going on? You told me about your, uh, was it Lit RPG? Lit RPG. Did I talk about it on straight? Because I don't want to do that. Yeah, again. we talked okay, about it. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah, talked about it on podcast. I even looked into some and, and bought some as well. So I have a few. Bro most addicting thing on earth and then shout out to nick podell he'll probably never hear this but you're one of the greatest uh audi audible readers ever mm-hmm. he's like the main guy who reads all the audio that i'm into really and um he does all the characters sometimes i forget he's playing all the different characters <laughs> so he, does he switch his voice up he switches his voice up like a beast okay nick podell the dude's a legend nick podell. um but yeah, but jumping back to um, jumping back to Fortnite and like what it would take to take it off, I think the very what I'm waiting for and which we're getting closer and closer to is I really am looking forward to augmented reality, not virtual reality because I still think we're far from that in the sense of enjoying a good full video game mm-hmm. like something that I'm gonna want to play. I think augmented reality is gonna be that next wave. Because you still people still got to live their life. Like you have kids, I have kids. There's no way I can I can hook up to an Oculus Rift, get in a rig, and dive into my game for three hours. It's not possible. I'd accidentally kick my kid, or I could totally see myself like ignoring everybody. The house is all burning down, <laughs> and I'm all sitting here in my in my, <laughs> in my your running thing. through Skyrim or something. Yeah. Like once again playing Skyrim again, um, not beating it. Uh, See, I, if th- even speaking on augmented reality, I would have to have it'd be like two things I would have to have like connected to my little rig, and that's like cameras I have set up at home because it's mm-hmm. more like so you can just instantly jump. I to. Can, yeah, jump to see what's going on. Okay, kids still sleep. Back to it. But I would yep. I would probably enjoy augmented reality when like my family is asleep. Like yes. the kids asleep, yeah. the wife like asleep. Like what's going on now? Yeah, she's eating. I've given her the attention she needed for the day. I'm in the. I'm in my shit now. Like that's when yeah. I would enjoy it the most. So or like when I'm home alone, like things like that. Hey, and and the thing is, what's so funny and why I say augmented reality is closer than we think 
Because think about what you just said. You want to be able to connect to your camera to make sure your kids are okay. Or if somebody rings the doorbell and you don't really feel like talking about them. Think about this. Your your Google Home and your uh, Amazon Echo and all that. All of that's already doing it. Yeah, exactly. Because now you'll have your headset on and it's like, oh, okay. Um, my ring just went off. My door ring doorbell just went off. Instead of me having to check my phone, boop, yeah, access ring and it and pops up. And you talk to them like normal, and then it's like, oh, I'll go. <laughs> and Good. then they go. I don't and want your you knives. <laughs> yeah, and you go back to your game. And um, like you said, switch to your camera. Like me, I remember when they showed it, uh, I think it was the HoloLens. I forgot what game show it was. was. Mm-hmm. It was years ago, at least two or three years ago. And the dude was just sitting there in a simulated room, and he was like taking, he was like, oh, Netflix. And he like took it, and he threw it at a wall, and he made it as big as he wanted. Yeah. And then he had his clock. And he threw it up there, but it was still just his real world. But he had these screens up, and I was like, something as simple as that. Like it's, we're closer to that. VR for some reason it still looks like 1980s, like Terminator VR to me. Yeah, well, I mean, like, it, it has a way to go. I don't think no one's just mastered yeah. it yet. You know what I'm saying? Like I think uh, getting to that, I think VR is that step. But mm-hmm. beyond that would be the 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 fully masterwork version ready to go version they still have to work on it so you're saying that i want full dive technology is what i'm saying and that's what's gonna take <laughs> down fortnite huh is that what you're saying would have to come to take down I Fortnite? Think, um i think that would be cool i'm trying to think of what the next because battle royale is clearly here they just announced that there's a stardew valley the farmer simulator game they're coming out with a battle royale for that game CSGO just came out with a Battle Royale version. One of the most classic shooters we have in existence that would w- has been around since I was a child. Mm-hmm. I used to go to internet cafes and play CS uh, Counter-Strike. Did you see the Fortnite knockoff? Oh, God. You no. can literally build and do everything. like for- it's, just, it's just weird. It looks weird. It moves weird. Don't move just like Fortnite. The craziest Fortnite-esque game that I played was called um, Project Project something. Basically, it's like Hunger Games and but it's Hunger Games mixed with Fortnite. Mm-hmm. So, you have somebody who's controller. Like, they can jump from player to player. Oh, I've seen that. Party. And they can hit Project assist. Darwin. Or, yeah. Project Darwin. I've seen that. I, I did see that. That game was fun. And then, like, you can kill somebody to death. Kill somebody with uh, kill somebody to death. But you can kill somebody with uh, snowballs. Um, <laughs> Just but, start yeah, because you can freeze them if they don't have enough gear on. Yeah, the temperature will drop and they'll get you know they'll get sick or whatever. But the dope part about that game was I was like, okay, this is building upon battle royale. Like you take it for you took Fortnite, what's already successful, and then you added in an element that made it a completely different game. Yeah, like I survived till the end, and the dude got frustrated because we kept running around the map not finding each other. So he started like melting all the different parts of the maps. So he forced us to get to this one spot. Then he turned off the g- gravity. Like, and I was like, "Oh damn!" So the game master is pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I seen a, I seen a, a YouTuber play that once. But I'm trying to. What I would be for Fortnite is here to stay, dog. It, it's gonna oh, it's be not going clear. If, if CS:GO can last for damn near twenty years, what yeah, but, you think? but see the difference is, and then the, and we need to understand that Fortnite is still brand new. Yeah, it's still yes, new. It so what is it with it? What is it on its second or third year? I would second. I would say second year of notoriety. I give it. I give Fortnite's age is the same age as Ninja. Like now, not Ninja Hyper Ninja, Ninja before Fortnite, but Fortnite Ninja and Fortnite, they grew at the same damn time. So mm. give them the age like starting now. And so that's why I say you, about two you, years. But see, but let me tell you this though. I feel like I can say this for a fact. More people know about Fortnite than they do about CSGO. Of course. Now, in saying that, because... And, but that's you know that's where my point was going, uh, because I see where I think I see where you're going with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fortnite is bigger than CS:GO now, right? But mm-hmm. CS:GO is like the grandfather of most of the video games we talk about. 
Okay, you see what I'm let me. I see where you're going. Let me knock this point. Let me go ahead and say this. Everybody loves hip hop. Only hip hop heads know who Cool Herc is. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, same. So in saying that, Cool Herc, I, somebody. No, I'm not even going to go down that road. We're not here to talk <laughs> about DJ Cool Herc, the originator of what we know as hip hop. Um, the the DJ, the scratch legend. Like I'm not even, I'm not even the, the creator. I'm not even gonna go there. But my point is, as big as CS:GO is in the gaming community, Fortnite is big in the world. Yeah, I think Fortnite. But and see, I think that's why Fortnite will not outlive CS:GO, but it'll be here, like you said, for a very. I think it'll be here for. a I, it'll, I think it'll be here forever. As long as it stays free. It'll, it'll as last. As long as it stays free, it'll, it'll be here last. forever. Okay, so I'm comparing CSGO from height of its career to the lowest of its career, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, or of its life, of its lifetime, since it's been uh-huh. since it's been a game. Fortnite will last longer than any game we know. Do you want to know why? It's, it's because of how friendly it is. Yep. It's friendly to anybody. Your dog could play it. If your dog yeah, can play video yeah. games, your the dog fact can you can play. play it on your phone, and it, and how accessible it is, CS:GO. Nobody's playing. I see when CS:GO came out for console, I was not. I, I downloaded it as a CS:GO fan, but it was horrible. I did not want. Oh to play my god, it. the Drake curse is real. The Drake curse. Alabama is real. Alabama just lost. Oh sh. The Drake curse is real. Oh wow. Any team that Drake sides with and shows support of, they start losing. <laughs> Stick Alab- to music. <laughs> Leave teams alone. Leave teams alone. Mind Drake, your business. <laughs> Alabama lost to Crimson. Bro, they got murdered. That's 44 sec- to 16. That's the second time they lost to Crimson? Bro. Bro. Damn, Damn. it, Drake. I think Drake owes all Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> He needs to come out with a new album and call it My Bad. <laughs> My Bad. <laughs> and just be Damn, sitting there like, apologizing like I this whole show just took a turn for the worse. <laughs> they <laughs> they be, they sure did beat them 44 to 16. I just I just broke protocol and brought real world <laughs> up to date issues into this. What? I quit. Yeah, I'm this is the guys. second time they beat them. In the- <laughs> I'm going home guys. Y'all have a good one. Cut this shot. This has been a great episode. Yo, um, they beat them twice, really. Bro, wow. Okay, moving on. <laughs> That's over with. I clearly didn't care. I didn't watch Damn, it. Damn, son. Hey, why we got to keep going on all this negativity? Can we move <laughs> on to the positive? Like, ain't nothing else. Hey, you know what's funny? We ain't actually even talking about positive for the rest of the, uh, rest of the show. Like, let's talk about Anthem. And so... Well, Anthem can be positive, just, dog. Like, yeah, I, I, it can be po- it can be positive, but... T. Jones just brought to my attention, folks, that it may not have underwater battles. That's what the that's what one of the developers said during one of the live streams. Yes, one of the oh one of the my said they're not having. So let me animal. let me tell you why even let us go underwater then. That's what you could have made puddles. <laughs> you could have made ice lakes. I don't. Need you could have. I don't need to see none of that. If I can't do it, why tease me? Why tease me? So first and foremost. They already somebody already beautifully described Anthem as the ultimate Iron Man game that you've always wanted. If you wanted to be Iron Man, Anthem will be the game to play because mm-hmm. you are now Iron Man. But in all the trailers and all the gameplay, see, they always show these beautiful moments where you dive straight from the air and seamlessly <sighs> transition into the water. Yeah. You open up and you're swimming all fast because you're flying, but you're not flying, you're just swimming really fast. And then you zoom in through the water. Then you blast out and you go back to combat. Well, now they're saying that there's no combat in. So now I don't know if that's due to like, hey, we're trying to make it believable a little bit or we're trying to, you know, I don't know. But that that sucks. I mean, that's me being picky. But I, when you but show me this how is, beautiful the underwater is, I'm expecting some mission. I don't. I wouldn't combat. call it picky. I wouldn't call it picky, and I got to intervene because they got to stop doing this shit. They show yeah. us these beautiful things that imagine being able to fight underwater, fight yep. sea creatures. <coughs> Excuse me, 
a but potential, a potential boss, a potential Leviathan, yeah, sea some animal giant ass monster. You know the Loch Ness that we could potentially fight underwater, and you telling me, oh yeah, nah, that that that's that just happen. for looks. That won't happen. What you mean that won't happen, bro? Like that's the type of stuff that irritates me because you 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 set up obviously this is what people like. Oh yeah, oh my God, look, he jumped into the water. Oh, she, he's swimming with dolphins and fishes. And yeah, <laughs> big ass piranhas. Are yeah. You telling me I can't do nothing underneath there? I can't save no fish. I can't fight no fight my enemies. Granted, there ain't no PvP in the game. Yeah, that part. There um, is no PvP in the game, which I wasn't mad at. I'm not yeah. mad at that. Yeah. But if it was PvP in the game, it was like shit. You can catch these hands underneath these water. This water. Yeah. Like and we can see who me under the creek. <laughs> exactly. But you know what it's it is. not there. But I, I, they, they can't. I think they're gonna get a lot of. Um, I don't think a lot of backlash is gonna come from that. It irritates me because those are one of the things we got to see. The, you could potentially be the ruler of air, land, and sea. Yeah. Like, but now we got to cut the sea out because I can't even, I can't shoot a pistol down there. I, I'm i trying to, I'm, I'm not, dis- I'm disappointed not because, not because I felt like they promised something, but like you said, they showed this great scene, like I can almost see it right now. Diving into the water, they showed the transition. They showed how your lights kick on to show your area, and it's like, so what is? Are we going to be doing down there, just collecting stuff? Yeah. And then if that's the case, can I go fishing? Like, <laughs> fishing? I don't know. They probably have some type of like farming, fishing, like thing in there. Bro. I just don't. I mean, and you know what? No, I take that back. They better not have no damn fishing. You're in a mech suit. If you out there catching. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how long was I fishing on uh, Warframe? Yeah, but Warframe was different. That's like you're on different pen. You damn near look like an alien. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you I need was, some okay, type of folks, sustenance. On Warframe, I legit would spend, and I would be streaming. A whole stream fishing. Fishing. For the same fish. Oh, hey, man, man. no, nah, I don't want to run that mission. I'm about to go fish. I yeah, catch I'm just catching fish. I'll catch y'all later. Excuse me. I'll catch yeah, y'all like, later. <laughs> Like I'll catch up with y'all. Like, oh y'all, let me know how. And yeah. then would be mad when people would bring the, the enemy over towards me. I'd have to sneak over there. No, remember that we were doing that. Uh, like it was almost like a public event. And you oh, the fishing. world was ending. Nah, over there on the um, that place you was fishing. I don't remember nothing about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You was fishing. Me and uh, I think E were uh, fighting, like doing this event over there, and. I wasn't I wasn't strong enough, so I started running back towards you. Was, come on, team man, why would you even come over here? Like stay over there. Like I'm just trying to fish. <laughs> it got and bad. I would be out really there for hours, fish. bro. Like I'd be making days. mad money fishing. And that was real. I mean, I do got a thing for fishing, but no. But with Anthem, with Anthem, yeah. I I truly, I'm I'm gonna sit on it for a bit. I want to see. I want to watch gameplay. Like people, not developers, or beta testers, or quality assurance, and then I'm gonna play it. I want to say end of the month. I'm gonna download the open beta, and I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna you, give it a fair shake. I, and and you'll be, I will probably play beta wise. I probably I won't buy the game. I'm not gonna buy it. The reason why yeah. I'm not gonna buy it is because well, I mean, if you buy it, I buy it pretty much. But uh, <clears throat> game share. Yeah, game share. Frugal. Um, the reason why I say that is because I think I'm, I'm going to always say this. They messed up when they decided to market to Destiny players. Yes. Uh, I agree. Th- Destiny fans ain't loyal to your game, no. i.e. the division. They're not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. They're not. They're loyal to Destiny and they will forever. And then look at what De- – see – it, it, it's 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 sad that I gotta keep doing it. Sad I gotta keep bringing up Destiny, but they fucked up because Destiny's in the prime right now, and Destiny hasn't given their DLC a date yet. So what's gonna happen? Ooh, oh yeah, drop at the Anthem same drops time. this way, bang. DLC the next day. Joker's Wild is out. <laughs> what, you, what you think is gonna captivate the the community? A game that we ain't never played in before, or a game that don't where have half the shit that deep. exactly. 
So I think they. And you know me, up. I never bounce back to Destiny until year three. Anyway, yeah, I don't know like why. I wouldn't be shocked if I jumped in like now and played its last like three months. Yeah, you if jumping in now would be it'd be a whole different experience. So I, I with Anthem, I think Anthem is gonna have a, it's Anthem should be fine. Let me I say hope that. it does well. It will really be do. fine. But comparing it to Des- uh, comparing it to Destiny, putting themselves in that realm of Destiny, being compared to Destiny, even if it's not what they intended to, is what's what can potentially put them have any type of set. If they have any setbacks, that'd be the reason why there's a setback. Mm. So I, I don't know. I, I I I thought about it when it when I I thought about it when they first announced the game when they first started showing trailers of it um, when they first when the when Game Informer first introduced us to the game. Or well, when I was first introduced to the game, was reading about it in Game Before, and they kind of explained how it was. I thought it was going to be something totally different. I thought it was mm. going to be the way it was described, going to be Destiny, but mother, but with mech suits and mm. open world, and I I thought PvP. I thought the the amount of lore that they could bring to it, like story, background, character character development like all of that stuff could be in the game but seeing it seeing even seeing some of the footage of the stronghold i'm not even reminded the gameplay doesn't even remind me of destiny it more reminds me of a game we were talking about earlier warframe yeah it reminds me of like warframe and and uh uh mass effect that's what it looks like so it plays and looks just like Warframe, like the multiple objectives in one, mm-hmm. you know, mission or like, oh, get to this target type deal. Like these these horde mode, multi objective type mm-hmm. arena shooter type games. And 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 knowing and knowing how much we actually enjoyed Warframe, mm-hmm. I can see myself enjoying Anthem. Yeah, like for yeah. me to act like I'm not gonna enjoy it or wouldn't be able to enjoy it. It's crap. And that that's I play living. Daylights out of um, out of um, Warframe. Like I, we put mad hours in the. War. I don't want to be miscon. I don't want to have any type of misconceptions because I don't. I'm not saying that the game is going to be bad. And I'm not saying yeah, yeah, the yeah. game can't be fun because it, yeah. it most definitely, if they do it right, this could be oh, yeah. their their lane. That could be a lane that they capture, and that'd be that. Hey, let me tell you what I think. I'm so sorry. I cut you. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I was, I was talking too much anyway. Yeah, what I, man, that's just all big. <laughs> but what I think would really have sent Anthem over the top is if they would have went free to play. Ooh. Hey. That that would have been a game changer. If free to play and you can charge for uh you can charge for microtransactions, you can do to however the hell you want cuz it's free to play. People are already used to it. We see it. We see, you uh, avoid game changing. Uh, well, you can't even have game changing DLC because it's not PvP. It's mm-hmm. PVE. So all you're gonna do is either have people grinding, like Warframe. You can buy everything in Warframe. There's nothing you oh, can't yeah. buy in Warframe. Uh huh. You, you can buy mech suits. You, I mean, ten. You can literally you can go from everything. the work, the wackest player to the best player in the game by purchasing by yeah, dropping a good five hundred dollars on. Some yeah, stuff. and you can be top tier with wings and arc wing suits. Um, but I think that would have been the thing to send them over the top. Like even if they came out day one free to play, boom! Like didn't take no pre orders, didn't do none of that. Yeah, and just dropped it free to play. I think they would get a bigger crowd and people would roll the dice. Just especially since it's EA. Um. Now, wait. Go ahead. Wait, you said EA? Isn't it Bioware? I thought Bioware was owned by EA. Is it? Fuck, I don't if know. If I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm about to but look. Yeah, I think, yeah, look it up. Oh, I'm yes, it is. Bi- it is. You are yeah, 100% Bioware correct. Bioware is owned by EA. You are 100% mm-hmm. correct. Yeah. That's why Damn, a lot of that just left a bad taste in my mouth. EA? Mm. Yeah. That changes yeah. everything. Say, yes, it does. <laughs> and that's why I said going free to play would have voided a lot of that. Um, a lot of the bad taste because now it's like well they're not getting any money out of me up front let's see if this game's worthwhile yeah and if it's good i'll invest 30 bucks because that's all i plan to spend anyway you know what i mean like that 
that's like I think I put what ten dollars. No, I didn't put any money into Warframe because Microsoft kept giving us money. Yeah, I don't know how that happened, but they just kept throwing money our way, and it wasn't much. I but complain. it happened. I wasn't arguing. I got like fifteen dollars and <laughs> put that all into Warframe and got a bunch of shit. But yeah, but now ending on a consumerist, depressing, greedy note. Not from us, but from Disney. Um, so now Disney to be up front, I'm trying to avoid Disneyland at all costs. And the only way we're going is if my oldest daughter, the day, this is what I promised her. I, Cause she's pretty smart. Um, everybody says that about their kid, but she, she's really smart in a devious way. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> um, she, I told her, we will go to Disneyland. The day you can ask me in a complete sentence and the day you can write it out. Daddy, I would like to go to Disneyland. I told her we will drop whatever we're doing. <laughs> and I'll go. call off work. We will get in the car and go to Disneyland that day. The day she can write it down and I can read it. It's legible. It's clear. And she can say it to me and ask me. We'll go. But now we just made this situation a lot more harder on me. Is Disneyland... Just raise their prices. Mm-hmm. Getting them ready for the new Star Wars, uh, Star Wars part of Disneyland. So now, the cheap tickets, which would mean probably like a day that is raining and that nobody but like people who hate life want to be there, went from ninety seven dollars to one hundred and four dollars. Yeah, see. So now the bare minimum to get into Disneyland is one hundred and four dollars, or to somehow sell your soul and win a radio contest. Then a regular, just any general day. Went from one hundred and seventeen dollars to one hundred and twenty nine dollars. Then the high demand days, so days that everybody would love to be at Disney, mm-hmm. which is probably any day that the air quality is green <laughs> and the sun is shining. <laughs> um, it is. It went from one thirty five to one forty nine, and I'm then not, parking, bro. I'm not parking going. went up from twenty to twenty five dollars. I'm not. These fools is grimy. I'm not going to Disneyland. Bro, I don't. There's nothing. First off, I don't want to go anywhere where everybody wants to be. See, my my wife likes to go. We took Savannah. Or we took my baby girl there twice, and mm. um, <clears throat> she enjoyed it. She loved it. My wife oh, loves yeah. it too. You know. I'm uh, sorry, but fuck that. Excuse my language. I'm not doing. <laughs> no. Not when Knoxbury Farm is right there. <laughs> Bro, that's what I'm saying. And then you can even convince your school to go on a tour, and you might. Even- like, you, look, listen. You can go, you can spend a day. You can go to Knox Bay Farm. Get out of Knox Bay Farm. Take go to the uh, what's the the medieval times place yep. right across the street. And then right next door, they got one of the best bakeries on earth. Portos. All all of that for less right than there. two people going to death to Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland. Nah, I'm not. Bro. I'm not doing that, bro. Like even people no. who I know who have like season passes, they I can only go on specific man. days. Bro, that's what I'm saying. And, like, what I don't understand, like, I'm all for it. Hey, if you got the juice and you enjoy it, do your thing. Because people look at me like I'm crazy. I'm sitting here I set up, and I'm like, eh, I'll put some money into it. But, yeah, see? Everybody has their thing. You're look, right. I don't You're like right. to judge, but what I hate is when companies take advantage of people's passions. Like, could you imagine if video game company? Could you imagine if Fortnite instantly charged a hundred dollars once the game fully comes out? Not even that. What if the price of games went? The price of games has been what it is since we were ki- since we were in Let high school. Let me tell you how they convinced us it's okay to raise the price. Hell Let me no. tell you what they did. No, they already did it. They already did it. You want me to prove my point? How much have you put into the need to? Well, I bought the DLC, so if that's what you're talking ah, about, yeah. Ah, but how many people do you know are playing Destiny 2 with no DLC? Uh, none of them. Do you get my point? They yeah. officially made it okay to charge more. Now, but, and then, you know you know who started a new trend that we got to be careful with and we got to shut down ASAP? Is we got to shut down. Uh, we, we have to shut down what Call of Duty did. Was it Call of Duty? Yeah. They... Um, Instead of doing a season pass or breaking up the DLC individually, you can only get the DLC if you buy the season pass. Yeah. I'm not sure if that was just Call of Duty that did that, but... I want to say Call of Duty were the only one to do it, because mostly everybody else sells it or a season pass. See, 
with uh they've already changed the way they've slowly yeah, no, you're, they've conditioned us to be okay with you are right you're 100 percent right i think though you have with a game like destiny you have to be vested in that game to play it some people waste their money because they'll play it for a week won't come back to it forever yeah so i'm not i'm okay with dropping the money on Destiny because I know I'm about to get my money and some out of it, playing it wise. If you compare it to purchasing games on a weekly basis, or not a weekly basis, like let's say a monthly basis. Because I remember, in, I mean, in high school, whether it was used, whether it was brand new, the game, brand new game come out, we was getting the game. Yeah, whether we or not it came with the DLC or whatever. So I can, I honestly say, even Destiny 1, I spent less money when Destiny you come, and I spent a lot of money on Destiny 1, because if you think about spending, buying the collector's edition, then turn around and inside that portion of the collector's edition. Anyway, I won't go too deep. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm okay with that. But for, remember, game, games have been 64 39 for the longest. So you can go out and get you the base Spider-Man game or the base mm -hmm. whatever game. Play it for however long you're going to play it because longevity in video games is gone now. And next week, you mine another $60 game. And the week mm -hmm. after that, you pay another $60 game. So yeah, they increased the price on this outside of the actual base game. Because to be honest, you can't play Destiny without the DLC now. No, I couldn't imagine what it even looks like. Some and it's funny. Some guy did it. Some so this guy was he he was he was trying to make a point. This YouTuber by uh, starting a, a another account under because mm -hmm. he already had Destiny, he already had all the DLCs. He started another account with the free version of Destiny, which is just the base game on PC, and he wanted to prove that. And he, at first it was a meme, but then he decided, okay, I'm gonna continue doing this. Prove that I can get in-game content with this base, excuse me, free account on Destiny. And what gotcha. he did was he jumped into the game, started the game up, played the base story, got all the guns that he possibly could get that could help him. And he jumped into Crucible. And throughout his journey through Crucible, he was able to get the, the end-game gun in Crucible, which didn't come out till Season 4. Right now we're in season oh, five, wow. and he was able to get it, and he was he, that was his point. His point is it's doable. It's hard as hell. You gotta have a team. You gotta have people that's willing to work with you, but you're able to do it. My point being, that's for one specific side of the game. That was for Crucible. Mm -hmm. It had nothing to do with PVE because the raids mm -hmm. is still yet to purchase them to play the raids, and that's just how they do it. Mm -hmm. But I, I mean, yeah. We, and, and we've made it okay. Oh, yeah, the DLC is this much. So we get the DLC. Yeah. You know, but and, you, you now you're turning around having to pay 100 bucks for a game to enjoy three. I would say the game comes out, then you have three months until the next deal comes out, then another three months, then another three months, and then we're back to, okay, we have new content. We got to renew your payment. Yeah. That's where we're at now. And, and, and it's... Oh, we're in our final minutes. Um, yeah, just fit, wrapping wrap it up, up what you were about to say. And wrapping it up with talking about Disneyland. I just, I just hate that something that a lot of people, especially if you live near Disney or around or within flight distance, within the, you know, if you live close to Disneyland, people, them taking advantage and raising the prices like that, knowing that people are regardlessly are regardless gonna go. Mm -hmm. It it's cold. It's business, yes, but it's still cold. Like, yeah, I, I even call yourself so. the happiest place on earth and, and do people in like that. But hey, it's business. That's why I don't go to Disneyland. That's why I refuse until my daughter fulfills her end of the deal, and we will go and you will see me looking miserable like. I have a better time at Universal Studios. I have a better time at a lot of other places. Um, <laughs> I, you can take me to Lucille's Barbecue and I'm going to have a better time than going to Disney. Bro. That's just me. And I'm Baron J67. Hey, last last point. The only reason why I like going to Disneyland is to go to Roscoe's. So. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see. Hey, oh, before we go, much love and shout out to Tone Deaf Network, Tone Deaf Radio. Thank you, sir. For blasting us Appreciate all across you, the ether and universe and space and getting us everywhere. 
Um, and this will uh, be two week. This will be two for you this week, Tom. So oh yeah, you about to you about to get it, man. Mm-hmm. You got it. It's yours. Handle it. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get off. And I'm talking too much. I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones. Peace. Peace.